about it. I didn't know you knew how to play piano, Roger. Oh, I just dabble. Good, Good morning, morning, Mrs. Wilson, Wilson Mr. Forbes. Good morning, Good morning, morning children. children. So, how is today's show coming? Great. We were able to get Beth Sorrentino to come on as our guest. Oh, what? You mean Beth Sorrentino of the new group Suddenly Tammy? You got it. Wow. I, for one, count myself as a fan. She is a wonderful pianist. Ah, I sense an opportunity to let kids know just how rewarding practicing an instrument can be. We can certainly bring that up in our interview. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, she'll tell us how all that practice is worthwhile, especially when the results are that you play really well. It's certainly true in baseball. The more I practice, the better I play. Good, That's kids. Right. I think we understand each other. Now, go make a great show. Yes, yes sir! <laughs> I have this really cool effect on the switcher. Oops, hold on. That's not it. I'll try again. Wow, that's really neat. I like to use that in today's show. I'm not sure, Casey. I better practice it a few more times before we try it on the air. It's a little tricky. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Sure. I'm ready. I mean, we should be ready. We're on the air in five seconds. Roll the opening title sequence in three, two, one, and take it. Good morning and welcome to the Kids Songs TV show, the one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids. Hi, I'm Alexandra Palm. And I'm Erin Harvey. And, and we are the Biggles. Thank you for watching our show today. It makes us really happy that you do. That's so true, Billy. And thank you for writing to us. We love it when we get your letters. We sure do. A lot of your letters tell us that you love our videos. So let's play one for you right now. I know a great one to start with. Let's put on a show. Frustrating. 
You know, sometimes when you learn new things, you make some mistakes. But if you stick with it and you practice at it, it gets easier. Okay, I'll try again. Here's the script change for the next introduction. You'll have to practice it quickly because we're on the air in four, three, two, and... Our next song is a tribute to the Little Red Caboose. Lots of kids think that the caboose is really cute because it's so little. Like me. I'm little and I'm cute. Yes, you are. Did you know that the caboose is a really important part of the train? Absolutely. It's where the train crew live. It's their home on wheels. Kind of like the train version of an RV. I never quite thought of it that way, but you're right. Can we see the video now? Sure. I'll make it fly in. better, but I still need to practice more. I'll practice a few more times during the next video, then I'll be ready to do it for real. Good. What's up, Megan? Introduction to Ten in the Bed. I love this song. <laughs> it is so silly. Ten kids in one bed. <laughs> Little Piggles like us share beds in Big Land, but we've never put ten of us in a bed. But we could. We'd all have to get real small like this, and then we'd fit just fine. Good idea, Billy. Shira, cue Alex in three, two, one, and... Our wacky professor friend, Professor Major Cord, took some kids on skids to visit their friends who were home with a cold. And they were sleeping, ten in a bed. A great big bed. Everything was fine until one kid rolled over. And fell out. That left nine in the bed. I think we better show you the video before we tell you the whole story. So here's... Ten, ten in the bed. There were ten in the bed and the little ones said Roll over, roll over So they all rolled over and one fell out There were nine in the bed and the little ones said Roll over, roll over So they all rolled over and one fell out There were eight in the bed and the little ones said Roll over, roll over So they all rolled over and one fell out
I knew you would if you stuck with it. Thanks for helping. Now, will you show me how to make it in color? Sure. I'm ready to go with my new effects. Great. Let's use it when we start the song. Sure thing. We're ready to go. Cue Aaron. I'm sure you know that if you want to be really good at something, you have to practice, practice, practice. Boy, do I know it. I practice the piano for two hours every day. Wow, that's a lot. Don't you ever get tired of practicing? Sometimes when my friends are going to do something fun. But it's always worth it when I sit down to play a piece of music and I'm happy with the way it sounds. Neat. Let's hope the same is true for our friend Kyle. Kyle wanted to learn to sing in a very deep voice. So he went for lessons with the one and only Mr. Bass Man. practicing and I've been practicing my dancing check out my fancy footwork in this next video don't you think we better introduce it first thanks you saved me again cue the host we had a lot of fun learning to do a very silly dance called the woolly bully actually it's made of lots of different dances like the swim and the fruit and the monkey they're all from the 60s when people made up lots of silly dances so get ready to get silly and do the woolly bully
everyone's been talking about practicing. What do you practice? My pitching. I go to the park and practice every chance I get. My coach says I've improved a lot. I might even be star pitcher this season. Wow, that's great, Hassan. You really worked hard for it. Alex, you're on. This next song is one of the first ones I learned on the piano. It's really easy to play. And it's the first one a lot of kids learn in dance class because it's so easy to do. It's easy and it's fun. Come on, kids. Follow my simple instructions and let's do the alley cat. Right foot right and left foot left. Right back right back left back left. And right knee right knee left knee left. Right kick left kick clap and turn. We go on the prowl each night like an alley cat. Looking for some new delight like an alley cat. Let's kick now meow. Let's turn now meow. Let's clap now meow. That's what dancing's all about. We move so smooth and get it right. There's no doubt of that. When we dance, we're out of sight. Like an alley cat. Bend a knee and tap your cane. Gently tip your hat. Everybody's doing the same. Like an alley cat. Let's kick now, meow. Let's turn now, meow. Let's clap now. Tuned up. Thanks, Deva. Okay, Casey, we're ready. Roll the question time graphic in three, two, one, and take it. And cue Lindsay. Thank you, Beth, for joining us today. Thanks, Lindsay. So, how old were you when you first started playing the piano? Hmm, I think I was about five or six, right around the time I started kindergarten. Yeah. Cool. I saw a piano in a store, actually, and I thought that was the neatest looking thing. And I tried it, and I loved the way it sounded. And a lot of my friends could play, too, so I thought I would give it a try. And I eventually learned how to play. Cool. Did you practice a lot? Oh, yeah. I did. You have to practice a lot if you want to get good at something. It obviously worked, because <laughs> now you have a group with Suddenly Tammy and your recording records. That's right. So can you tell us about it? Well, Suddenly Tammy is a band of three people. It's piano, bass, guitar, and drums. And my brother plays the drums in the band. And I play the piano in the band and sing, too. We write our own original music, and we've recorded two records. Wow. Yeah. So can you tell us about the history of the piano? The history of the piano? Gosh, the piano is pretty old. It was invented in Italy in 1709 by a man named Cristofori. And he gave it an Italian name called piano forte. Piano meaning soft, and forte <laughs> meaning loud. <laughs> Which is how you can play the piano, soft or loud, depending on how hard you, you strike the keys. How does it work? <laughs> well, as you can see in front of you, there are these black and white keys. There are 88 keys all together, starting from high notes to low notes. I can keep yeah. going. See this key right here is hooked to a little hammer inside the piano. And when you, when you hit the key with your finger, the hammer hits a string, which is wired inside this part of the piano, which is called a soundboard. So that's how it works? That's basically how it works. Cool. So can you teach me how to play something? Sure, I, I can teach you how to play something. How about if we try a simple song that everyone knows, like Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star? <laughs> okay. Does that sound good? Okay. Yeah. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my thumb down on the middle note of the piano, which is called middle C. And from there, I'm going to make the melody, which is Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Watch as I play the beginning. Can you try that? Sure. That's great. Now I'm going to go down the scale with the rest of the notes to finish the song. <laughs> That's great. Do you want to try playing this with me? Sure. Let's try it. Ready? One, two, ready, play. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle. That sounded great. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, it Lindsay. was awesomely informative. Thanks. I really like Beth. She was so nice. I bet she's glad that she stuck with her piano lesson. What'd you think? Should I take up piano? I'm sure you'd be very good at it. But aren't you supposed to be somewhere else right now? I don't know. Am I? Your, Your studio. studio. Oops. I'm out of here. Cue in. And now it's time for one of the most popular segments of the show. Billy and Ruby sing and play along. Today they picked a really cute song for you, the best dog in the world. So let's go to the dance studio and sing along with the Biggles. We have some really neat animals in our video today. It's called The Best Dog in the World, and it's a great song to play along to. We go like this when we sing the part. There's no dog that is quite as smart. <laughs> and we're going to point like this on Ask any boy or girl. And we're going to go like this on He's the best dog in the world. <laughs> and we do it all again for the parrot and Jim, because they're the best, too. We're ready, Casey. Roll it. what Brooke made. I did this myself on the computer. Wow! Brooke, this is incredible! How did you manage to do all this yourself? Practice! Almost time for baseball practice. Let's finish the show first. One more song. A 
and cue. We only have time for one more song for you today. So we picked one that will get you up and moving. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Another one for you. Let's see it. Wow! Neat! Cool! When did you learn to do these special effects? I've been practicing every time I get the chance. It really shows. Speaking of shows, it's time to do this one. Cue Aaron. Well, kiddos, that's all we have time for on this episode of the Kids Songs TV show. The one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids. And Biggles! See ya!